everyone welcome to the stock market morning prep video for Tuesday August 18th had a little bit of a recovery rally off the lows uh, early in the morning which uh, uh, landed a, a nice uh, long trade if you um, if you were uh, able to catch that uh, very whippy price action there is absolutely no volume and volatility is picking up um, going into the options monthly expiration which is this Friday so I wanted to come and take a look at uh, what the options market is telling us where this market may be headed on Friday and I mentioned last week uh, that we do have a bullish bias to the upside and usually we put some sort of a low in or uh, late last week going into this week so far that's holding true now we are down a little bit in the pre-market but I, I suspect that um, that the markets are going to hang around in this area up until Friday meaning that we look at open interest, and if you come down and you look at the spiders, the SPY, trading at uh, closed at 210.59 last night at 4 o'clock. So we look and see where the biggest open interest is. And if you look here on the, on the uh, call side, it's 158,497. On the put side, we have 165,000 at 210. That tells me that the pin where the market makers are in their best interest to close this spiders would be at 210. And we're there right now. Does it mean that it's not going to go anywhere between the next uh, three or four days? No. What that means is that if the markets do sell off, okay, if we get some weakness today, tomorrow, I would suspect the markets close at or around the 210 area. Okay. Same thing for the upside. Maybe the markets rally high uh, and then they sell off back to that 210. So it could go either way, but the mean is going to be that 210 area. So that's what I'm going to be focused on and I'm going to be watching. So to me, I think... Um, since the markets have been bid up every time the market sold off buyers stepped in I suspect that will happen again uh, this week and I will probably look to do the same uh, look to buy any weakness into some good support areas so that's that area 210 I'm gonna be watching for this week okay so I'm gonna base my trading around knowing that um, there's a possibility that the 210 area as we get closer to the end of the week now um, today could be really anybody's game but when you get close like Wednesday Thursday that's re when you really want to um, pay attention to that 210 area, where the market is in reference to the 210 area, okay? Let's take a look at the charts. Let's do a top-down approach from weekly to daily and really see where we are. The markets are really kind of a, in a mess. I mean, we haven't gone anywhere. Here's a weekly chart of the spiders. Here's 2015 right here. You can see we've gone nowhere. We have really have gone nowhere, guys. However, we are holding this 2012 long-term uptrend line and still very well intact we could drop down another five points in the spiders and still be in a bullish uptrend just please keep that in mind you get a lot of guys that, oh you know this market is done we're looking to short this market that may be the case and maybe we may be topping uh, but we let the markets tell us if um, if the markets put in a top right we don't assume uh, we're not looking to predict anything but we want to get ideas on where this market may be headed that will be helpful to us but uh, remember guys don't don't just look to say okay the markets not going I'm shorting believe it or not this is still bullish price action where the markets are holding in at all-time highs yes this is six years of a bull market and it is getting tired there's no question about it but let's let price tell us let's let the price break that long-term trend line and then maybe get a back test and then we can look to start shorting the market plenty of room to run to the downside you can see here these volume profiles are very very light so as soon as you break that area here you know you're really going to look for a little bit of uh, support here and then way down a little 145 150 area and again it's way way away we're not talking that's going to happen anytime soon but remember guys long-term trend still intact on a weekly we could be down at 205 and still sell off five points in the spies and still be in a bullish uptrend okay daily chart is a big mess as you can see here uh, we have really have gone nowhere and this is just a closer view of what's going on now we did break above the 20 and the 50 on a daily chart which is good um, again I'm thinking we get some legs in, the, in a little bit of a few weeks out markets try to ch challenge test or even make new highs uh, going into September on this light volume uh, two or three weeks left of August and then we start to break down and that's what I'm looking for putting in some sort of a local top September October we get a pullback pullback turns into a full-fledged correction and that's what I'm looking at right now and right now it still looks um, like the uh, 
like that may be happening okay take a look at the diamonds you can see what a big mess lower lows and lower highs bearish symmetry still intact below the 20 below the 50 and the 200 um, so even if we do break higher we'll probably look for this area here to start to hold okay Tra uh, transports weekly bear flag not pretty at all you could see this uh, breaking down we broke this long-term uptrend line from 2012 and now we're flagging again uh, I would look for some continued weakness really the ultimate is going to be that 200 day moving average on 200 weekly apologize 200 weekly in this area here when it, once this breaks this bear flag pattern okay next is the daily and as you can see here in a daily chart it looks quite different right we broke this bearish symmetry and we're holding true to this uh, um, support area of this once downtrend downtrend uh, support uh, resistance which is now support so now we need to get back and challenge that 200 if we get back above the 200 on the closing basis then uh, that would definitely alleviate that downside pressure and also help equities and that's what I'm thinking that may may happen here okay um, let's take a look at the other leader is the IWM Russell 2000 ETF remember guys Russell led a top put in a top excuse me prior to the other indices in 2000 and in 2009 Okay, so this is something that we're going to pay attention to. But in the weekly chart, it still looks pretty good. You can see we're, uh, we based 2000, we broke out in 2015, and we've been holding true ever since. Yes, it's been sloppy, but we're still above this area of support, which was resistance. If we break back down and we start to take out this week's low, last week at 117.65, then I think you're going to get a flush back to this lower trend line area of support. Okay. But watch it. Um, I don't like the way the IWM looks here. You could see on a daily, we broke this bear flag. We still have uh, um, bear symmetry of lower lows and lower highs. We have not broken above this downtrend line. Okay, so this is something that we need to test today uh, and see if, where that goes. And then uh, we have the Qs. Lastly, the Qs. Tr um, the technology sector has been holding up pretty well. Apple actually recovered yesterday a little bit. So we'll just see where this market is headed, guys. Use extreme caution, reduce your share size for risk. Uh, there's no reason to go, um, you know, to be trading so aggressively in a market that there's no volume, okay? So just keep that in mind. Have a great day, everybody. We'll speak to you tomorrow. Take care.